Tonight on Spooky Shoes, it's terrifying, it's hideous, it's monstrous, it's a Birds of Prey movie action figure. Let's talk toys. This is what we're going for for Halloween. Welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out two of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse action figures. Of course, we have the long-awaited, long, long-awaited Harley Quinn from the Birds of Prey movie, which I'm just going to base it off how the figure is, because I was not a fan of that film in any way, shape, or form. But on the backside, you get a picture of the figure, and of course, here is the barcode, of which you can scan and store when the figure starts to hit. And we also have Batman in the hazmat suit. This is not the Target exclusive light-up version. This is just the standard. And this particular hazbat comes from the DC storyline, the Amazovirus. And here's the barcode as well. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooky cup of coffee. This is a look at two of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures, Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey and the Hazbat from the Justice League, the Amazovirus storyline. And of course, here is Harley Quinn all out of the packaging. And just to make it very clear, while I'm not a big fan of, let's say, the Birds of Prey or the Justice League, Snyder Cut and all that jazz, I'm not going to let that bother me. We're going to see if this is a cool figure and she does come with her toasted cheese and egg sandwich okay i did like that part of the film i thought that was kind of cool gives some kind of funniness to the character it's done well she also gets her mallet right her big old clown hammer and it's painted well it's got a nice design and i like the smiley faces on either end and then you have the harley quinn figure and i would never say that that really is margot robbie it's margot robbie adjacent we'll be honest but she's got rotten on the side she's got different tattoos here and there which do kind of sort of coincide with the film she's got a whole mess of jewelry and one of them says bruce because that was the name of the hyena that she purchased in the film and she's got some great gold paint to her and i really like her roller skates and they have peg holes on the bottom which really help this figure to stand as you'll soon see and get her into all kinds of roller skating poses and to be quite honest with you, I was not expecting to be like, wow, this is a great figure. Aside from the weird articulation points with the ball joints and everything else, it doesn't really look attractive. In all honesty, it's not a bad figure. And coming from that movie where I wasn't jazzed on how the Birds of Prey were portrayed, especially Black Mask, especially Harley Quinn. But I could say, yeah, it's a well-articulated figure and you can get her into all sorts of Harley Quinnade poses and she's got some nice diaphragm and she rocks her head and she's got butterfly joints and she's got double jointed elbows and double jointed knees and everything works well with you and I can't have any really type of problems as far as articulation go yeah I could say the face all day long but this figure in all honesty is painted quite well sure it could have had a little wash on the gold it's not the point. It's very shiny. It's very gold. And I love the roller skates and the different colors on it. So even the hair has the dipped red and the dipped blue on either ends of her pigtails. So I really can't complain other than the fact of I don't really care for the film. And as far as the hazmat bat goes, surprisingly, I actually do like this figure as well. This is one of those where I was like, well... I mean, he's kind of doing the whole, let's say, quote-unquote, Iron Man thing. And yes, it's another Batman. But is it well done? Yeah, it's actually a well done figure. Do we absolutely need this figure? No, not really. Not really at all. But you do get the DC Multiverse stand, and then you get a really... You get a cool look at Batman. And that's the funny thing about this. This is one of those where I'm like, eh, you know. But when you do have him in hand, and you got all the tubes in the backpack and everything else... I mean, it's a pretty cool looking figure and he's got like this Kevlar texture to him. He's all armored up. His boots are really nice. The whole look of this figure is great from top to bottom. It's well sculpted. People knew what they were doing when it came to this figure. They put a lot of love into this. He's even got little like quote unquote glass plates at the back and on the mask. And you would think that this would come off. 
You can kind of sort of get it to go a little bit, but it's glued more so at the top of the mask. So you'd have to kind of peel it off, which I'm not going to do because it's kind of cool to have a different look for Batman. I like how it distorts his face. He's got a good face sculpt underneath there. And like I said, this is not the light up version. The Target exclusive will light up right there in the chest, but I like the blue that accents around the bat symbol and all the hoses and all the wires, everything that goes in his backpack and you see all the paint and everything else. Yes, the belt could have used just a little touch up here and there, maybe just a little extra something, but this is where I would say it needs the paint. You're missing a complete piece right there where there's nothing to it. Not even the little gadgets are painted, but that aside, I mean, it's pretty solid looking figure. I gotta give it to him on that. I like his bat ears, they're sharp, so be careful with that, but you do get some nice articulation. And just like Superboy Prime, the hoses work with you, so you can make him look up, look down, go side to side. If anything, this kind of reminds me of the old Kenner, like Legends of Batman or the Dark Knight. And yes, it's straight from a comic book storyline, but to have this sort of different look for Batman is almost refreshing in a line that is largely Batman. So we're not just doing a bat suit, we're doing a whole new type of bat suit. So you could do the whole Tony Stark thing if you wanted to collect that. But yeah, very Legends of Batman. It's like the Arctic suit, the fear suit, Joker eyes suit, whatever you want to say. It's just very different. And for that, I do appreciate it. And just like the Harley Quinn figure, the articulation works on this guy as well. So while, again, I'll reiterate, it was kind of a figure that I was like, ah, you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool looking. But once you have him in hand, I mean, it's even better. So in all honesty, yeah, I think you'll definitely dig this. And if you wanted to go around and get different suits for Batman within the McFarlane line, this is a good start. I would say he does pose well. He does articulate well. And he does photograph well. So in that sense, it's very cool. Now, I would say now that I have this figure, I'm kind of more interested in the one that would light up because I think that that would just add to it. So maybe if I pick that one up, I'll do a separate video. Harley Quinn, it's the same way. I really like the way her roller skates are done. They don't come off. Yes, it would have been nice to have some extra hands for these figures, maybe even a head portrait or two, because with all this added articulation, that would have been pretty cool to have her yelling or a gruff face, mean face, you know, it's one that she's just doing the tongue out or something like that. That would have been awesome. But she holds the cheese sandwich. She holds her mallet. You can utilize the stand and she secures really well. So in that sense, it's not a bad figure at all. And, you know, it doesn't make any type of sense, but you could totally have these two battling it out. Maybe they're going for that egg and cheese sandwich. As far as the scaling goes, this Batman is now a shorter Batman between the two newest Batman, right? You got the three Jokers and the year two. And as you can see, He's not the tallest, especially when you're going up against a large figure like Lobo, but he is just a smidge shorter than the new Lex Luthor, and he's really kind of around the same height as the Superman. But if you wanted to go the Marvel Legends route, yes, he is still taller than a Marvel Legends figure. Now, the Harley Quinn, I wasn't a huge fan of the Suicide Squad version of her. I think this one goes a lot better, let's say, with King Shark. I definitely like this costume better than the red dress. Or if you wanted to put her with a regular Joker, yeah, get Jared Leto's voice out of your head. Like, oh, hunka hunka, how are y'all, shaga? In either case, these are two figures I did not expect to really dig. And surprisingly, as much as I can say again and again, dwells in a van of Birds of Prey. It's not a bad figure at all. If you are a fan of Birds of Prey, I think you're definitely going to like that. Although I will reiterate, it's the likeness really doesn't have Margot Robbie's best interests. We'll just say. The rest of the body, the paint, everything else on her is pretty dang good. The Hazbat, I think it's well done. I think it's got a lot more going for it than just a standard repaint. It's a totally different look for Batman and one that's kind of refreshing while also invoking a lot of Kenner nostalgia. So I definitely dig it. Although I will say now that I have this one and I do like the figure, I think the light up one will be cooler because at least it lights up and it does something. However, I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? What do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC multiverse. And thanks again to my friends over at McFarland Toys for sending these out to give you guys this early fresh look. Hopefully these start hitting in and around, let's say November, 
But fingers crossed by the end of the year, as with all the other figures we've looked at recently, especially year two, right? I hear you guys. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to DC Multiverse figures, sometimes appearances are not what they seem when you first see photos. It's not until you got it in hand that you could go, oh, yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> and what do you do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.